what I'm working on. I'm trying to make a little marine transition for a small boat. I'll be forward, 1.3 to 1 ratio. Neutral, reverse. Yeah, 2.3 to 1, I believe. Kill it so I can tell you what I've done to make this happen. So, I took a jack shaft, you know, as I have washer underneath that has shims, so that as this chain loosens, I'm going to take a wash out, drop the shaft down. What that also means is if it's in a boat or a go kart to adjust the shaft height, I'm going to have to shim the motor plate up to account for the shims I drop here. Transmission is non adjustable, it's fixed. To the plate uh, in case you're wondering this nut I've lost it that is a quarter inch NPT hex uh, hex collar is what they call it I cut it short it's the same threads per inch it fits it perfectly I believe that's either 16 or 17 millimeter anyway I got some ang iron mounts to the plate and to adjust the belt as these belts wear and people say they don't wear but they do Instead of replacing the belt, I can always put washers under the motor, raise it up, and that's going to tighten my belt and get a lot more life out of the belt. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, and you can also use this on a go-kart. I mean, whatever you want. Um, with this Honda engine, the gas tank would have been in the way to mount the converter where I wanted it. Even on this side, there's not a whole lot of room for the dipstick, and this engine doesn't have a dipstick on the other side. So this is the best way I can do it and it's going to be in a narrow boat so i kind of wanted the center of the engine close to the center of the shaft as i go up with shims it's uh it should work all right man no complaints i'm happy uh most of this was junk free stuff thanks for stopping by